What's up again guys? Got another video for you this Saturday. Don't you feel special? Um, just wanted to show you guys a quick update on the reef tank and how everything is doing. I had some people in the last video uh, when I was talking about switching to a bare bottom tank kind of comment on how they were worried I was taking out all the beneficial bacteria or you know it's going to negatively impact the tank and just wanted to do an update. My tank is actually doing much much better since I removed all this sand. Um, I did my water parameter checks today and in the previous tank with sand, my nitrates always kind of hovered around 15 to 20 parts per million, which isn't terrible. You can have a reef tank with nitrates on that level. But since I took the sand out, when I tested today, they were actually almost zero. Like they were testing under one part per million. So I think that kind of shows, at least for my tank, the sand was holding on to a bunch of uh, dissolved organics and other stuff that was causing my nitrates to stay, to stay high. So... At least for me, it really worked to go into a bare bottom tank, and all the fish and corals are doing fine. Everybody's doing well. So, wanted to cover that, you know, just to dispel some concerns some people had. And um, also wanted to real quickly talk about, uh, I guess what I consider a myth as far as how hard it is to do saltwater tanks. You know, a lot of people start out freshwater. And they want to try salt water, but people say it's expensive and it's, you know, way more maintenance and you have to check all these things. And it's really not. It's, it's not even, you know, that bad. Um, you know, they say you need crazy equipment. I'll tell you what I do and it works just fine. First off, I don't have a protein skimmer. So for the people, you know, that said you have to have a protein skimmer to succeed. No, you don't. That's a lie. Um, they said you need sumps and sumps are awesome and work great. But, you know, regular filters work fine. I have two hang on back um, aqua clears. Nothing special. Real cheap. Um, you don't have to have insane lighting. Some people say you like 7 to 10 times per gallon for watts or whatever. Um, this is just a simple 2 bulb T5HO with 48 watts. It's got good ATI bulbs in them, but, you know, it's only 48 watts. And as you can see, for this 20 long, it grows... So anthids just fine, it grows candy canes, eight cans on the bottom just fine, the mushroom looks good, you know. This frog spawn's doing all right, I actually moved that a little bit. But um, it, it's really not that much different from running a freshwater tank. The only thing I religiously do is I keep up on water changes. Um, and it's not even every week, I do a 25% water change every two weeks. That works well for me. I've done that since I've had this tank. And um, yeah, that's just what I do. And really, if you keep up on your water changes and you have a low bio load like I do, like I only have four fish in here, then it's no different really than running a freshwater tank. Um, so for all my planted tank friends out there and freshwater tanks, you know, friends that, you know, want to get into salt water, give it a shot. It's really not that difficult. Um, so yeah, wanted to mention that. And lastly, Got that doing well. Showed you guys that one earlier. Picked up a sweet new rimless tank. This is a deep blue model. But it is, as you can, well, focus. It's a 12 by 12 by 12 cube. So a perfect cube. And um, it is a sexy tank. <laughs> I actually saw, uh, I think the Rick posted a video. He's doing a new... Uh, rimless tank build and I was like damn it I want one of those too so I went out and got this one got a great deal on it this was only 25 bucks believe it or not so really really cool tank not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it um, as a really you know I have that I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it because it could either be salt water or fresh water I don't know yet um, I have that par 38 bulb still laying around that would look really pimp on this tank just right centered over the top of it looking down like you know right here and so I was kind of leaning that way to do another salt water tank and it would just be an invert tank I don't think I'd put any fish in it and might just try some uh, shrimp and maybe some acros you know I know they need a little bit stricter water parameters so I might just put shrimp, no fish, so there's hardly any feeding what's going on, and then do some acros with that PAR-38, which would provide enough light for acros, I think. So, the only problem is finding a place to put it. <laughs> I actually considered, I'm considering taking this one down. A lot of you guys have seen this tank before. This is the other planted tank. Um, I actually considered going a different direction um, with this tank, so I might take it down. I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I will. 
Um, I've had this set up for quite a few months now, growing in as it is. All the plants are doing fine. The fish are doing fine. Um, I don't know. I, I get bored pretty fast sometimes with, you know, setups. So, not sure, but I might take this tank down, move it. I don't know. But, yeah, that's just me rambling on about future plans. Um, but, anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a good Saturday, and I'll catch you guys later. See you.